everyone and welcome to a brand new let's play on the channel this is a really exciting one today we are starting fallout the very first game in the series and i say that this is special because i am a fallout fan but this is a first blind playthrough of the original games uh starting with fallout one uh so this will be a brand new experience of figuring out what the deal is with these iconic titles that, you know, inspired the later Bethesda entries uh, that I was introduced to during the Xbox 360 era of gaming when I was but a teenager. So this game came out when I was two years old and I didn't get into PC gaming really at all until I was much, much older and could afford my own uh, setup. So I never would have touched Fallout in a million years and I never even heard of it uh, until Fallout 3 came out and Fallout 3 was uh, announced and I don't think I had uh, an, a 360 um, at the time uh, but I was very excited for it because it looked cool and I really like the sort of uh, retro futuristic stuff that's kind of like one of my favorite settings uh, is I, I love stuff like retro futurism. I mean, I'm, I, I can't really describe it in any other way. It's like Blade Runner. It's like, you know, the, the cyberpunk aesthetic, but like, you know, when you have like an, a 70s or an 80s view uh, of the future. And in Fallout's case, it was like 50s aesthetic, but in the future. And I just thought it was really, really awesome. Uh, um, and that was sort of my introduction to Bethesda as well, really. Uh, but so I, I will preface this beginning introduction of the playthrough stating that I have played Fallout 3, New Vegas, and uh, Fallout 4. Um, I haven't played all of Fallout 4. There's a lot that I didn't get to do in that one, uh, but those are the three Fallout games that I have played. So I haven't played the original ones. It looks like this one it like developed by Interplay before it jumped over to Bethesda. So it'll be exciting. I have like a familiarity with sort of like the setting uh, and the lore um, based on those games, but uh, the story of the original Fallouts, I have no clue, uh, and how they play, I also don't really have any sort of idea. I obviously know that this is late 90s PC gaming computer RPGs, so these are going to be very different to Bethesda's entries but I am looking forward to diving in. This has been something on my to-do list for years and years, even pre-YouTube. I've always wanted to check out the original Fallouts. And uh, thanks to one of my recent polls that I did uh, with my Big Boss tier patrons, Fallout finally got its time in the sun and won the poll, uh, beating out a few other titles. We I essentially grabbed like some game names out of a random uh, list I just like randomly generated the names on my to-do list and it was Fallout versus Juice X as like the, the top two contenders, which is kind of funny. These games kind of feel like they're in that similar sort of uh, era of like PC gaming. And then there was Sifu and Splinter Cell Double Agent. Uh, so there, it was a weird assortment of games, but Fallout won uh, the poll and we are going to be playing it and I'm, I'm very excited. So that's my that's my intro out of the way. Uh, I hope you are ready to sit back and enjoy whatever is going to happen today. I'm very excited. Uh, the game does have an intro, and I believe that we should listen to it. Uh, Fallout also loves to use classic old-timey music, and that may come with copyright stip stipulations, so I may have to mute that music uh, for those reasons. So if it's a little bit quiet for you, on the music side, that might be why. Just a uh, just to preface that one, because I know what Fallout, uh, the later Fallouts are like in terms of the music. I assume this would be the same deal. So let's let's jump into Fallout. Brian Fargo presents Fallout. <laughs> Oh wow, Galaxy News is a thing all the way back here as well. Our dedicated boys keep the peace in newly annexed Canada. Yeah. 
Keeping the peace, baby. <laughs>
set up in a way where it's like an in-universe book of the Vault Dweller's survival guide. So it obviously is like it's issued by Vault Tech, uh, just like looking at the first few pages of it. Um, and it's great. It's really, really cool. So it's got like its own artwork and stuff like that. And if I need, I will refer to that um, just to sort of get that out of the way is uh, I think having a video game manual on hand for an older video game is totally acceptable. Um, and not something I've done very often, but it feels like this might be something I just need just in case. Uh, we can choose a, a preset character, but we will make our own, I reckon. Uh, Max Stone, Natalia, Albert. All right, so there's three. Okay, so it looks like we've got, uh, you've got your strength, focus, your agility focus and charismatic focus cool so you can choose some presets um lovely uh let's create character nice oh my god it's all so familiar yet so new yet so old <clears throat> what an interesting assortment of things i'm so excited to make my own character when we can name our character as well well we're gonna go with um char no character limit cool we get to be apocalypse that's great Age. Um, it's almost accurate enough, which is kind of crazy. There you go. Um, wild. Cool. Uh, we're going to be... The type of character that I, I like to be in a Bethesda game does involve stealth. It does involve being sneaky, but also being uh, quite charismatic as well those are the things that i kind of like to do i don't know how well it's going to translate into into one of these older type of fallout experiences because this is not bethesda so i will not be comparing it i guess but it would be cool to just see like the differences between them uh so i think we want to make sure that we are oh my god we don't have many points i'm going to make sure that we are agile intelligent and charismatic, I think, but oh man, we're gonna have to drop some things down. This is gonna be a challenge. Okay, so we've got good, very good, great, and then what's what does it can go up to? Excellent and heroic. Okay, it changes our armor class, our armor points, it even changes the percentages over here. It's cool that you can see everything go through. It does make sense where they would do something like having. Um, rebuilt characters just for like first time but we're gonna we're gonna balls to the wall we're gonna jump in we're gonna make a character and we're gonna have fun doing so um i feel like it's probably we need to specialize in like a couple of these all of them are valuable in their own right i think okay strength raw physical strength the high strength is good for physical characters uh hit points melee damage and carry weight and that carry weight goes down by 25 with each point. I'm going to have to just try my very best to not be that internalized, like, scavenger that I am. Like, I, I used to just scour everything and just pick everything up. Um, I'm going to drop my strength down. Uh, perception is the ability to see, hear, taste, and notice unusual things. A high perception is important for a sharpshooter. Modifies sequence and ranged combat distance modifiers. Uh, endurance, stamina, and physical toughness. A character with a high endurance will survive where others may not. Modifies hit points, poison, and rad resistance, healing rate, and the additional hit points per level. Okay. Combination of appearance and charm. A high charisma is important for characters that want to influence people with words. Modifies NPC reactions and barter prices. Well, I want to be charismatic, I want to be intelligent, and I want to be agile. Um... Intelligence, knowledge, wisdom, and the ability to think quickly. High intelligence is important for any character. Modifies the number of new skill points per level, dialogue options, and many skills. Oh, that's that is that's so important. Uh, agility, coordination, and the ability to move well. A high agility is important for any active character. Modifies action points, armor class, sequence, and many skills. Uh, something that I'm aware of, at the very least, is I'm pretty sure this game is going to utilize the... Oh god, what's it called? VATS system? Which needs a lot of action points. So I know that that's going to be crucial for combat. I do at least know that. Um, let's 
Oh my god, this is so tough. I kind of want to be high on two things. Um, and then we've got our optional traits as well, actually. Metabolic rate's twice normal. You are much resistant to radiation and poison, um, but your body heals faster. I love the Vault Boy artwork and how consistent it's been. So good. Uh, you may not hit as often, but when, uh, but they will feel it when you do. Action points are lowered, but strength is increased. Oh, okay, so that's a two increase to strength. Gotcha. Oh, nice. Actually, we want to look into these because these give us some bonus points on the specials. Okay. You're not quite as big as the other vault dwellers, uh, but that never slows you down. You can't carry as much, but you are more agile. Oh, that does drop the weight quite a lot. One hand, uh, one of your hands is very dominant. You excel with single handed weapons, but two handed weapons cause a problem. Your attacks show a lot of finesse. You don't do as much damage, but you cause more critical hits. Kamikaze. How many can we have? Two. Gotcha. Okay. Kamikaze, by not paying attention to any threats, you can act a lot faster in a turn. This lowers your armor class to just what you are wearing, but you sequence much faster in a combat turn. Okay, so this is going to be, yeah, it's going to kind of be like more of a turn-based thing, it seems. You swing harder, not better. Your attacks are very brutal, but lack finesse. You rarely cause a good critical, but you always do more melee damage. You don't have time to aim for a targeted attack because you attack faster than normal people. It costs you one less action point to use a weapon. You've got to have bloody mess, right? By some strange twist of fate, people around you die violently. You always see the worst way a person can die. God, you need, you need to have bloody mess, don't you? All right, guys, I'm changing my mind. We'll go for one intelligence playthrough <laughs> and then bloody mess and full strength. And we just and we just become a super mutant <laughs> through the whole thing. The good thing is that everybody around you has more critical failures in combat. The bad thing is so do you. Uh, good natured, your studied skills, combative uh, skills. You studied less combative skills as you were growing up. Your combat skills started at a lower level, but first aid, doctor, speech, and barter are substantially improved. Oof. Yeah, okay. I talk my way through a, wa a wasteland. Chem reliant, you crave chems more easily. But you recover faster from the ill effects. They only affect us half as long as normal, but our chance to crave them is 50%. Night person. As a nighttime person, you are more awake when the sun goes down. Your intelligence and perception are improved at night, but dull during the day. Goes up by... Well, I guess it goes down by one, then it'll go up by one. We can only play this game at night, guys. Skilled. Since you spent more time improving your skills than a normal person, you start with better skill levels. The trade-off is that you do not gain as many extra abilities. You will gain a perk every four levels. Yeah, so you can get like a boost now at the start. Gifted. You have more innate abilities than most, so you have not spent as much time honing your skills. Your primary statistics are plus one, but you lose minus 10% on all skills to start and receive five less skill points per level. Oof. Look at that drop. But our entire, oh, our entire strength goes up. Uh, sorry, not strength. Our entire special goes up. Can you just pick both of these? <laughs> you just pick gifted and skilled. I don't know how that would work. If you pick both. Damn. Okay. This is tough. I can only choose two. And then I can pick three skills. I'm terrible at this. Okay, so... I might take the luck down, and I think we'll put... What options do I have here? Print a file. We can make sure that you save it. Cool. Um, okay, I've had a look. We're going to play around, and I'm going to see what we, what we end up with. Oh, I love this. This is great. There's so much detail here. Let's create a character. Let's see what we end up with. Something that I'm seeing is like in terms of the charisma points, they're not affecting much in here. Like I've gone for good natured. So we have better skills here. So I think I'm going to be a smart motherfucker when I walk out of that vault. I'm going to be talking my way out of any mess. Um, but putting the points in charisma barely, barely changes anything. It's so wild. 
Um, there are things that change way more. So I think I'm going to have my charisma down like a little bit. Because I've raised the skills anyway. Luck is good for critical chance. And gambling. I don't know how much gambling I'm going to do. Um, how big guns and energy weapons are not good, but I think in my ex in my experience with Fallout, I rarely used big guns. Energy weapons are fun, and I love energy weapons, so I'm kind of a bit sad about the minus 1%, but I also don't know how long it's going to take us to get an energy weapon. It's going to be the big mystery. Good poison resistance. Yeah, I like I like stealing things, and I like talking to people, and I feel like that's just going to be the best way to do things. Not many of these change. I think we're going to have nine. Um... I might even actually max out one. Oh, this might be what I go for. If I take off good natured... Actually, you know what? Well, that drops my speech down to 41%. Um, if I get... It's hard. This is difficult! Um, let me see. I'm going to do good natured and gifted because gifted gives us a bunch of special points. Like that's useful as hell. Um, I don't look like I'm going to be too strong and that's okay. But I do want to be somewhat perceptive, intelligent, agile. I think that's what we're going to go for. I think this is our character. Small guns, lockpick, and speech. So we've got sort of like the staples out of the way at the beginning. I'll be good at talking to people, be good at stealing things, and, well not necessarily stealing, but breaking into things and stealing it, and then shooting things, um, and I'll be agile and intelligent about it. Maybe not so charismatic about it, but I, th I think this is good. If we have made a huge mistake of some kind and maybe everything's awful, maybe we'll rethink our options, but I think we're good. So this is our character. Age 27 male named Mapocalypse from Vault 13. Oh God. Ah, you're here. Good. I'm scared. A problem, a big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't this man is all eyebrows. The process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay? Damn. That's, that's like visually impressive. We got some actually like animated Cutscenes going on right now. We got some pre-rendered cutscenes. Even though, if, even if his face was absolutely terrifying to look at, um, that was awesome. I can't do much about the subtitle size, by the way, so I apologize for that. We're just gonna kind of have to roll with the punches on those subtitles being tiny. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so the premise for the story is: Hey, man, we're in the vault, but we're running out of water. Help us fix the water problem. Lonely Wanderer solves the water crisis of Vault 13. Well, that's one way to get you out of a vault, you know? That's cool. I'm not searching for my dad or searching for my son. So we're up to a good start. Okay. 
Let's see how this game plays. Oh my god. Okay, so isometric. Alt 13. How do I play this video game? Oh my god. You see bones. You search the bones. <gasps> bones has things. How big's my inventory? How do I do this? Give me money and stuff. Alright, I got two knives, I got bullets. Bulls. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna have to get used to all of this here. You're gonna have to bear with me because we, this is all brand new, okay? I'm gonna have to really take this all in. We have a skill dex. Oh, am I sneaking right now? Is that what that is? Nope, I'm definitely not sneaking. Oh god. Oh, wherever I click, I just run to. Okay. How do I sneak? I pressed the sneak. Oh, also, hang on a minute. Oh, shit. Hang on. I just realized this game plays in full widescreen. God damn. I'm just cutting off so much of the screen right now. Okay. Hold on a second. I thought the game was going to be playing in like uh, a boxy thing based on the main menu, but this is... I'll get a full screen. That's so exciting. Um, let me change this around. All right, here we are. White screen. Um, let's let's have a proper look at what's going on now. So you can right click to change between selecting things. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you can interact with things. Use the door computer. The computer does not recognize your access code. Okay, wonderful. We're not going back in. Okay. Um, lovely. Here's my map. Oh my god. In my pit boy. I don't know what that does, but it's cool. I can click things. I do not have a motion sensor. Here's my character page. Pip Boy 2000, get the water chip, 150 days left. 2161, you cannot rest. Oh, that's resting, okay. Status, Vault 13, auto maps, archives. Oh, that's the overseer. Oh God, that's the boogity boo guy, he's scary looking. All right, that's the overseer. I guess that makes sense. Oh, oh, combat. Cool, um, can I cancel that? Yes. Oh my god. There's so much to take in. Okay, let's have a look. What have I got? You see, 10 millimeter pistol. A Colt 6520 10 millimeter auto loading pistol. Each pull of the trigger will automatically reload the firearm until the magazine is empty. Single shot only, using the powerful 10 millimeter round. Okay, I like this information. So I can investigate things. A sharp bladed cutting and stabbing weapon. Ammunition 10 mil. A healing cam. Stim packs are here. We've got flares. Creates light for a short period of time. The paper is a little worn, but it is otherwise in good condition. Twist the top to activate. A set of lock picks. Includes all the necessary picks and tension wrenches to open conventional lock uh, locks of uh, pin and tumbler variety. Ooh. And I have armor piercing. 10 millimeter rounds. We definitely want to use the armor piercing ones on the on the rats on the floor here. Okay, um, how do I... Is this how this works? Do I now... Is this loaded? God, this... I'm sorry. We're gonna... We're gonna be quite dumb at the beginning. Okay, I've got a gun. I've got a gun. Uh, I'm gonna save my game. Description. Begin. Beginning save. Okay, I've saved. Wonderful. <laughs> Guys, we're doing so well. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm switching between a weapon and unarmed. Oh god, oh god, oh god, what's happening? Main combat now? Is this what's happening? Okay. My god, I got rats. Sh should I be- I shouldn't be wasting my bullets on rats, man. 29%? Oh my god, I need to get closer to them. Oh, I can see. 
can in turn end combat. So if I do that, what if I, I should equip a knife, right? Hey, yeah, I should equip a knife. So the pistol does five to 12. One to seven, okay. And then I, this switches. Okay, I've, wonderful. Oh my God, the rat's coming towards me. Oh my God, it's gonna eat my shin. Now what do I do? I click this and go, hey, yeah, 38%. Did I win? It's dead. Did I win? Did it. I killed a rat. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, I'm so good at this game. I'll get out of range. Oh my God. This is, this is going to be wild. Oh my God. Entering combat, bro. <laughs> um, oh my God. Can I, okay. So I can scroll down the map like this. Oh my, oh my dear Lord. There's bones down here. Should we investigate the bones? At least I can get like a idea about what's ahead. Ah, oh, we want to go that way. Well, is it going to be any cool stuff in here? Let's have a look. Oh my God, I've, had, I've been eaten. I just lost four hit points from the rat. Are you kidding me? Get sliced. Don't waste your bullets on the rats. In turn. I right, place my knife down, face down, and end my turn. Do not bite me. Oh, this is cool. It used all of its action points walking over to me just to die. Oh my god, I missed. Go again. Nice. Oh, this is exhilarating. Exhilarating combat, sir! Alright. I have a such a peak understanding of how this game operates now. I'm the rat slayer. Is it possible? Oh, I guess I could use sneak. Obviously. But I need to figure out how the fuck sneak works. Oh my god. Oh my god, I survived! Get it! How dare you. Okay. If I do this, it's like a 25% to sneak. And it says sneak. This is what I'm probably going to need to end up using the... Uh, the thing for. This is what I'm going to have to end up looking at the, my manual for. I'm like, how the hell do I sneak? Because I'd be running when I do that. Oh my god, there's, there's two of them. This is getting out of hand. hey -ya! Oh my god, please. I, oh my god, please. Unbelievable! Oh, I gotta end my combat. Run away! Oh my god. <laughs> Aha! Aha, you missed! Aha! My turn. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh my god, it survived! Stop this madness. Oh God. How dare you rats. Ow. Ow. Oh, you missed. You got hit once. Hey. Okay, this is bullshit. Rat. How dangerous can one rat be in this wasteland? What? I know it's under 50%, but come on, give it to me. Thank you. Oh my days! I'm gonna die to a rat. That one dies in one hit, because of course it does. Okay, was there, was there anything even worth my time? Can Do we have like a... Tab brings up the map. Is there like a highlight... Interactable items button? Target highlight. Targeting only. I just turn it on, will I see things? I'm just wondering if there's like items and stuff that are highlighted if I or if I have to manually do it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We're in the we're in that learning stage. It's gonna be pretty rough. We'll figure it out, won't we? I have faith in myself. How much of a chance do I have to shoot this rat, I wonder? 
Considering my small guns ability is one that I put points into, I would say that that's much more likely, but I just don't want to waste my bullets on rats. Please, dear. Thank you. We can do this. Um, so treacherous. I feel like the bones will have things, right? You gotta loot the bones. Let's do it. Let's make a run for it. Ah, oh my god, I ran right into a rat. No, my ankle. Yet. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I'm surrounded by rats in this wasteland. It's gonna take me 70 years to get th out of this beginning area. This is peak Fallout gameplay. This is just what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, go over here. Run away from the rats. No! Okay. I really need to figure out how sneak works. Also, I'm gonna die. Maybe I'm doing it right. It's just that the percentage is too low because I don't have a good enough skill, you know? That would make sense. Okay. Here, buddy. Bones. Investigate the bones. Oh no, I'm being attacked. Ah! Four hit points. Huh! I'm not, I'm not, I don't have enough health, man. To be bit, getting bit on by rats. Especially not to miss three times. Oh, his friend's coming. Okay, I'm gonna switch to my gun. Oh. Oh! Eat my bullet. There you go, 93%. You've made me waste my bullets for that. Okay. Let me investigate. A large pile of bleached animal bones. At least you think all of them are animal. Can I loot it or not? Oh, 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 there we go, hang on. Oh, that's just me. Okay, what is that? Oh. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to loot the bones. I guess that doesn't exist and I came over here for nothing. You see bones. Fucking hell, man. All right, wasted my whole journey through rat hell over here. All right, let's get out of here. Trying to loot stuff and it's not going well. Let's get out of here. Freedom. All right, how did I do? To the west, you can see a natural light. For the first time in your life, you're looking at the outside world. I need to remember that this is where we see all of our updates. How much do the stim packs heal? God, um, okay. Immediate healing of minor wounds. Oh, I have used it. There you go. It has, it doth been used. There you go. I'm gonna save my game after that extraneous thing. Goddamn. I deserve a break after that. Um, I see bones. You think these might be horned kangaroo bones, but you cannot be sure. They are too weathered to make a final determination. I'm moving. Oh. Oh, I'm moving the map by having my arrow there. Okay. Oh, he said Vault 15 was this way, right? Okay. So we're here. We are here. And we want to go there. Do I click on Town World? Do I just click on Vault 15? Oh my god, we're making that journey. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh! Okay. In the wilderness. Find several rats scavenging around here. Amazing. I wish I could zoom out even further. Okay. Rats! Um, is there any way that I can... Leave? Um, how do I pull up? Okay, hang on. I can pull up. Leave me alone! Bastard. Get out of here. But look at these intense map designs. Okay. Do we just leave? 
what's the deal? What's the deal with this place? Okay, we just go. Can we just pick a random square then and then travel there? <gasps> oh my god, we can. Okay. So you can make the journey like right to... Oh, wild. Okay. So you can take the journey directly to Vault 15 or you can fuck around on random squares. It's night time. In the ahead vampire mode. Okay, we're going to just commit to Vault 15 because I don't know what else to do. Let's go! Oh, actually, hang on. Stop! We can stop the journey! Oh, that's so cool! We can stop it mid-journey. Welcome to Shady Sand, stranger! Please holster that weapon while you are here. Uh... This just makes me pull out my knife. Should I just... Ah. Is that a good idea? Maybe what I should do is this. And then... Yeah. I still got my gun on me, it's just not equipped. This music's sick. Welcome to sh What is it? Shady Sands? To the south you see an abode wall surrounding a peaceful looking village. Okay, peaceful looking. I can fuck with peaceful looking. Oh there. Um... You see Seth, leader of the guards of Shady Sands. I would like to talk to you. Good day. I am called Seth. How can I help you? Oh my god, this is cool. We have a speech thing popping up in the Pip Boy 2000 review. Oh my god, you can review the whole dialogue. Cool. Uh, Barter, tell me about. Oh, what? 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 I can write about things? Water. Hang on, no. Um, what do I need? Let's ask about something absolutely outlandish first. Um, what year is it? Will you answer? I'll say, what year is it? Never heard of it. Okay. This is not the advanced technology I was waiting for. Um, will AI take over the world? I don't know anything about that. Okay. Um, P, P, poo, poo. Never heard of it. Damn. I can't bring in my lingo. Okay. Water? Sorry, I can't help you. Oh my God. I'm, I'm not going to do that. How? I wonder what the phrases are to actually get information. That's so interesting. What the hell? Okay. I'd like some information. What if I just type? I'd like some information. Information? What do you want to know about? Uh, I want to know about this place. Shady Sands is a peaceful community. We have our own irrigation system so we can grow our own food. If we were not plagued with raiders and rat scorpions, we would have no problems. I want to know about the rat scorpions. Those damn rat scorpions have been after our Brahmin since we moved here. Not a week goes by that someone doesn't get poisoned trying to keep them out of the pens. Last week they took my brother Jarvis. Razlo, our doctor, is looking for an antidote as quickly as he can. Hey, if you have the means to help us, why don't you talk to our leader, Aradesh? Cool. I want to know about this place. Shady Sands is a peaceful community. We have our own irrigation system so we can grow our own food. If we were not plagued with raiders and rat scorpions, we would have no problems. Okay, uh, raiders. Several groups of raiders. I organize guards like Ian to help fight them off. There is one band to the southeast of here. Watch out for them. I can just ask him to take me to the Rad Scorpion Caves immediately. Let's take a look around. Nothing else, thanks. Should speak to Aradesh, our leader. He likes to meet all of our visitors. He should be in the town hall, the building to the south. Tell me about Aradesh. But it works. He is the leader of our community. And a true hero. You can always find him at work in the communal hall. Okay, tell me about Ian. Uh, raiders. <laughs> Rad scorpion. <laughs> Rad scorpions. Oh! Nasty creatures with a deadly venom. Okay, why didn't you say anything about raiders? Did I spell it wrong? Raider. Okay, weird. 
This is this is very funny. Shady Sands. Oh, it'd be helpful if I could fucking type, man. Shady Sands. You're standing in it. Oh my god, this is so advanced technology. <gasps> what if we just type a random bunch of Fallout lore stuff? What if we just type Google? Nope, no clue. Um, ten penny, Megaton. Do you have you heard of Megaton? <laughs> I don't think about that. Damn. What about uh, Vault 101? And I can't even spell right. Do you know about Vault 101? No? What about Vault 15? At least it's in the game. God damn, this man is clueless. Um, Atom Bomb. Oh, man. How's this guy, the town leader? Don't know shit. Who are you? You see Katrina. She has a very pretty smile. Welcome to Shady Sands, Traveler. My name is Katrina. My job is to greet strangers and help them understand our village. We find that there are fewer problems if you listen to what I have to say. Okay. Uh, if you're new to this channel, by the way, while we're in dialogue, there's probably a good opportunity to say it. If you're new to this channel and you're diving in with Fallout, I've played quite a few RPGs on the channel and ones that are quite dialogue heavy. And what we do here is we are extensive and we try and be as extensive as possible. I try to go through all the dialogue Go through all the lore, read as much as possible. I'm not just like speed running or ignoring things. I like to take my time and like absorb everything. Longtime viewers are definitely aware of that by now. But if you are new, perhaps, and um, this is a first time experience of uh, watching what I do here, um, we will be taking our time. We want to immerse ourselves in the game. I love Fallout in general, so I'm really excited to get into these games. So like, I want to, I want to give it like justice and it'll be really exciting to go through fallout and revisit the series as well because i haven't played through it properly since i was like in my uh mid to late teens you know so it'll be really cool to actually go through it in this way so we go on in depth talking to everybody reading the things trying to explore as much as possible we may miss things and that is a natural thing of a blind playthrough but that's okay uh, but we will try and be as extensive as possible Tell me about yourself, Katrina, and your pretty smile. My life was very boring. I was raised in a vault. I lived there for many years. Unfortunately, we were crowded and life was very bad. There was a schism and many people left, taking with them the best equipment. Still, some of us tried to stay in the vault, but then we were attacked. I was hurt and I ended up here. Now I try to help people. Damn. Where was this vault of yours? It was Vault 15. That's where I'm supposed to be headed, dude for water stuff oh no it is due east of here we tried to make contact with some of the vaults but we always failed i think it was raiders who attacked my fellow dwellers be careful well our plan has just gone belly up all right well i'm going back home <laughs> someone else can go get the water uh what should i do if i get hurt well if you can't get to a doctor you'll need to heal yourself stim packs are a common healing item use them on yourself to heal minor wounds first aid is a slower method but it is always available Major wounds, like a broken leg, you will need to use doctor skill. Okay. Better equipment, please. You will have to do like we do. Scavenge it or trade for it. And if you're attacked, your foes might provide equipment. And if you live long enough to loot them, we're a peaceful community. So we mostly barter or trade for the items we cannot produce. I like that the dialogue moves onto the next page, seemingly at the pace that I read it, which is very natural. That's nice. Bartering is the exchange of goods. You give me some items, and I give you items in trade. Since you initiated the barter, I will let you pick and choose what you want. But the deal must be one that I think I will like, so you will probably want to give me more valuable goods that you don't need in exchange for less expensive things that you want. And if you don't have enough items to trade, there are always caps. Bottle caps are the only common money found out here. The caps are backed by the merchants of the hub, so you can trade them anywhere. Good old bottle caps. Yeah, I read at the same speed that the game dialogue box moves it's kind of funny you are standing in shady sands we are but a small town in a large world we just want to be left alone besides some mutated animals and other creatures in the, of the desert only the raiders give us trouble aradish is our leader he is in the large central house speak to him tell can you tell me about the rest of the world i this is my first day I know very little of the outside world i escaped from a vault when it was attacked unfortunately i was very hurt and i do not remember much of what happened but Dharma was watching over me, and I was found by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. Have you spoken with Ian yet? He is a merchant guard who was hurt. He is recovering in the guardhouse over there. She points to the east. He is more widely traveled than I. Okay, that's all for now.
Cool. Okay, we are learning. Sneak. So this is the best part. When it, with this manual, I can just keyword search sneak. When you are tired of killing rats, you can try sneaking past them. A good sneak will uh, let you avoid the rats. Press the skill X button on the interface bar. Click on the sneak skill. You will see sneak printed just above the interface bar. As long as you are sneaking, the rats will have a more difficult time of seeing you. If the rat does see you, they will start combat as usual. There's no combat penalty for trying to sneak and getting caught at it. Do not run. If you run, you cannot sneak anymore. Oh, hang on. In my uh, in my options, I think I have always run on. Where the hell am I? Running, always. How do I, okay. So maybe that's my problem. Okay, so now if I press it and sneak. I'm still in sneak. There we go. Okay. Is that just a... What the fuck? You see a peasant. Oh god, I thought that was a zombie. I'm like, what the f... That looks like a, a ghoul, but not the civilized kind. That's just a peasant. God, shit's brutal out here. I see dog. What's this? I see a pillar. Amazing. Okay, how do I run then? It's gotta be a button. Aha! Shift! Um... Which means, maybe, that if I have always running on, and now if I want to walk... Yeah, nice, okay. If I press shift, I'll walk. So now I'll get into the habit of when I want to sneak, I will press shift and do a slow walk. How about that? Who's that badass? Looks like he's in the tunnel snakes. Tunnel snakes rule! You see one of Shady Sands' guards. Orc. Hey yeah. Welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. Uh, why not? Look, Shady Sands don't need your kind from the hub, or junk town, or wherever you come from. We do pretty good by ourselves. Or The last trader from the hub sold us a malfunctioning irrigation pump. We've had it with your dirty deals. You got it all wrong. I'm not like that. Well, maybe you aren't. You do seem a little different to me. I'll tell you what, you should go talk to Aradesh. He's in the center of town. It's weird that I'm wearing like a vault suit, you know, very obviously like, I'm from a vault, I'm clueless. And this Katrina lady makes no sort of mention of the fact that I am a gosh damn um, vault dweller. But that's fine. Okay, we're going in here. Um, who are you? You see a short, stacky man. Short, stocky man. Hello, stranger. You look like you're new here. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Apocalypse. Good to meet you. I'm Ian. All right, there we go. Ian. What do you do here? I was a guard for the merchants of the hub. However, I was shot during a raid by the bandits. I've been staying here since the people have helped me recover. Still, my knowledge of the outside world and my experience make me useful here. Shady Sands is my home now. Occasionally, I even get to visit Junk Town or the Hub to do some trading, since I'm the only person here who has ever really left town. Okay. Um, sorry to hear about your injury, bro. Thanks. It's been healing up well, thanks to Razlo. I can just get so much information, man. Tell me about Seth. He's a very brave fighter. He occasionally goes to the Rad Scorpion Caves to kill a few Rad Scorpions, but they always wind up coming back. There are just too many for him to fight. The red scorpions are really that dangerous? Red scorpions are very dangerous. They have a poisonous stinger in the tail and they are very quick. Aradesh has been trying to find a way to get rid of them. If you feel brave, you could talk to Aradesh about them. All right, Ian. I wasn't done with you though, mate. Give me directions to the hub and junk town. The hub is a big trading center far south of Shady Sands. It's run by several different caravan groups of merchants. The Water Merchants, the Crimson Caravan, and the Fargo... Oh my god, I, I stopped. Fargo Traders. Junktown is a little south and ways west. It's smaller, but still a good place to drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fellow by the name of Killian Darkwater, the local shopkeeper, sheriff, and mayor. Does that just get added to our, like, information on the world map? Can you help me out a bit? Your experience will be useful. 
Hmm. Tempting offer since the place gets boring. Tell you what, standard rates, 100 caps, you get a deal. Oh, okay. Interesting. So. You like learn skills and stuff. How about a piece of the action instead? All right. I hope you out in exchange for my share of loot. Let's go. It'd be good to get back into action. <gasps> Yo, I have natural friend making skills. Did I just make a pal? I just totally made a friend. Oh my God. I made a friend in the wasteland. My first friend. Can I do for you, Mapocalypse? Um, I need to change formation. Oh, this is cool. Um, draw your best weapon next time you go into battle. What weapons are you skilled with? Good shot with just about any sort of pistol, and I can use a submachine gun too. I'll also be able to handle a knife. Okay. Um, how do I... Actually, I probably know how. Let's have a look. This one? No, that's me. Can I look at this guy's stuff instead of my stuff? I want to look at that other guy's stuff. Okay, Ian, I wish to look at your stuff. But it's not, not working out in my favor here. He looks unhurt. He has the confident, relaxed stance of an experienced fighter. Okay. Doesn't look like I can access his inventory. I don't know what he has. So I just... I just leave him. I just let him be. I gotta get used to this isometric view, eh? Like looking into certain buildings. You see a peasant. Should we talk to a peasant? Let's go and talk to a peasant. Talk quick, talk to the peasant! I got nothing to say to you, stranger. Alright. I got nothing to say to you, stranger. Okay. The peasants literally just look like undead. It's crazy. Hello. I haven't been attacked by raiders recently. Lucky, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if they... Bookshelf. Okay, can I loot the bookshelf? You search it. Oh, hoo -hoo. okay. You see a scout handbook. Fuck yeah. Me? Okay, um, I need to know... I need to know if there's a button where I can, like, highlight objects then. That I can, like, search. Okay. How do I use this? You learn a lot about wilderness survival. Okay. I have learned a lot about wilderness survival. I'm learning. I don't know what exactly happened with my learning lots about wilderness survival. But uh, there you go. Cool. So get into the habit of... Okay, so if I have a look at something and it pops up with a, some hands, I'm free to put my hands in it. And just loot away. Steal things or something. How exciting. This music is so desolate. I kind of, I really love it. Um, am I allowed to just like steal from everyone in here? I, I want to say no. Can I walk in? I want to say I'm going to get in trouble. All right, we're at the doctor's clinic, it looks like. Judging by nothing but the weird curtains that goes to the beds. I'm going to save. I feel like we're probably going to save a lot. And I feel like we're probably going to make a lot of new saves. It looks like we've got a maximum of only 10 slots, though. But we'll probably end up making a lot of saves. Um, just in case, because I don't know how things are going to go. Like, can I steal without consequence? Will you guys let me steal? Okay, nope. <laughs> Please do not take my things. That is funny. Okay. Hi. I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? Oh my god, there's voice acting. I know that there was like the cutscene with the overseer, but goddamn. I, I got just voice acting jump scared. My name's Mapocalypse Tandy. 
Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? <laughs> oh yeah. There's nothing to do here but watch the Brahmin, mate. Finally, someone else who sees. Of course, you've probably been everywhere, so this this must be hell for you. This is so wild. The animations with the face. If you're so bored, why don't you leave? Me? Leave? I wish. I don't know enough to leave alone. No one else wants to go. And worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. Tough situation. Can I ask you a few questions, though? Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? What else is going around these parts? There's a bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. I have the sarcasm is palpable. No problem. Anything else? Um, have you heard any stories from down south? Just stuff. Thanks. No problem. Anything else? Uh, uh what's, okay. Uh, that's about it. Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, see ya. I mean, if you consider that talking, sure, bye. Aha! Uh -huh. Um, what's in here? Makeshift bed. A material scavenged from some other source. Oh, there's a person. Hello there. Hello, I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling too well right now. Please, you can find a way to talk. To, uh, fight the rad scorpions. Talk to me, brother Seth. A pale, wiry young man. Okay. Okay. This in here is where we want to go to talk to that guy. Where is he? Who's this person? Oh, that's that's Aradish? Oh. Why is Aradish looking all like tucked away in the corner there? Busy cook preparing a meal. I'm too busy to talk right now. I've got to get this meal ready. He really lives up to his reputation. Peasant, nice to see you. I've nothing to say to you, stranger. All right, Aradesh. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be. Damn, the dialogue is like a jump scare. Um, sup, dude? Um, I'm from a vault to the west. My people are dying of thirst. I need to find a water pro purified chip for them to survive. That is my business. <laughs> Whoops. I'm saving an entire people from destruction. Wanderer, I shall believe you for now. You may enter Shady Sands, but be warned, your every move will be watched. Oh god, it's so creepy when they actually, like, I was just about to say, it's creepy when the eyes are still, but then they did an animation, and I'm like, nope, that's even more creepy. Certainly. What do you wish to know? Uh, what, what's going on? What is going on? Oh my, yes. Great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. Kind of a shame that there's no music during the dialogue segments. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. Okay. Ha ha! I can help you for a price. As Dharma said, those who tend their own flock know the shepherd. Dumb analogy. Dumb analogy, man. Hmm, no, no, I... I... <laughs> Bad metaphor. Hmm, no. No, I, I have not heard of that. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, I know it's hard for you to trust, but I would like to help. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please, talk to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. Roslo. Mm, yes, yes. Roslo is our doctor. If it ails you, he can heal it. I would wager he is just a little north of here at this moment. This is so great. Ian. I don't know. Ha! <laughs> Nobody knows about Ian. Seth. A fine young man, Seth. Captain of our guards. He is likely to be at the guardhouse. 
Or, uh, Katrina. That was her name, right? I can't really say I have heard of that. Was it was it Katrina or was it someone else? Um <laughs> This is great. Um Brahmin. I can't really say I have heard of that. Are you stupid? I always love when you ask them about something that they should know. <laughs> what are they not programmed with dialogue to respond with? Dumb character. I love it. Okay. That's really cool. Um I was not expecting that. Because I thought it was a hooded character. It looks like you're wearing a hood. Cool. Okay. We're going to speak to, um, to Raslo. I'm assuming north is always going to be this way. I don't know what the difference is between that. Um, slow. Where's Raslo at? Hang on a minute. So... This place is pretty small. Which one of these rooms have I not been in? I don't... No, I've went in here. Where's, where the hell is Raza? I've already let that information go right out of my brain. <coughs> um, he's the doctor. Our doctor, see him if you're hurt. Uh, it went... Information went in one year and out the other. Help! Help! I thought this was the clinic. Because it looks very clinical. With the whole bed ordeal. Oh, hang on. You see Razzler's wife. You have to come back in the morning. Please let us sleep in peace. Oh, that's funny. It's late. Come back in the morning. Okay, this is Razzler. I need your help. Are you hurt? No. You will be if you keep me from my sleep, not come back in the morning. Oh my god. What's the time of day? How do I sleep? Where do I sleep? How are you? I don't know. How do I sleep in this game? Is there, are there beds in here? You, you, you all mind if I stay? You all mind if I sleep here? Can I use one of these beds? Am I going to get in trouble? Very nice looking bed. Yes, I'd like to use it. How do I... Oh, maybe I can just... I pass the time in my little... In my in my pit boy, don't I? Hang on. I press this button. I will rest until morning. Rest until morning. Wonderful. Okay. I was going to sleep in a bed like a normal person. Back to the clinic. I should have just stood in there and just done nothing the whole time. Just stands in the doorway to the clinic. All right, Razlu, prepare to give me exposition. Can I help you? Hi, I've been poisoned. What do you know about rad scorpions? Not too much. They seem to be extremely large versions of the North American Emperor Scorpion. Contrary to my medical knowledge, their poison is growing more potent, not diluted, as I would ex expect. Seth has been hunting them, which helps some of my tests. Okay. And how such a large creature can even be possible by natural evolution, or even radiation-induced mutation is beyond me. You seem well-educated. What are you doing here? Doc Morbid in Junk Town taught me some, and just because he, we live in stone huts doesn't mean we're less intelligent or educated. Have a nice day. All right, bro. All right, well, I've got help. I could go to the Rad Scorpion Cave. Sounds good. Sounds good, man. Sounds like a, sounds like a dream. Uh, let's take a quick break and then we'll uh, we'll head to the Rad Scorpion Caves. Okay, take me to the Rad Scorpion Caves. You sure you want me to give you directions to Rad Scorpion Caves? I can't go, but I can show you the way. Yes. Oh, goddamn! All right, the cave mouth beckons you deeper into the lair of the Rad Scorpions. Okay, I have some things. Oh, you know what? I don't know how this works. How do I make this work? Okay, hang on. Um, this. And then... Okay. 
What have I just done with that? Did I just put it on the floor? I just dropped it. Yeah. Just dropped it. I would like to make the gun with the bullets go into the gun, please. Um, gun, go in there. <laughs> go into the thing. Um, yes. God, this is great. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm a natural. Um, you see armor piercing rounds, and I feel like this would be good for this. Oh, hang on, there we go. Oh, I just unloaded it. There you go. Okay. Oh, it worked. Okay. I right, we've figured it out. So you right click, do that. You can unload the gun. And then you can put the armor piercing stuff in there. All right. Red scorpions have natural armor, right? Let's save before we do anything so I don't waste my time. Okay. You see bones. The bones of a large two-headed cow. Right, rad scorpions. I guess we can. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. I guess we should just clear them all out. Let's go for the one. Right, well, let's. There's two of us, and there's two of them. Let's fuck them up. Maybe we can try and bait like one of them. I don't know if I can control the other guy or he just does his own stuff. Ooh, we're gonna figure this out. Okay. Um, sneak. They're sneaking. 25%. Right. And then. Oh my god! You're touching its ass. Only 35%, dude? It doesn't even know that I'm here and only 35%. Can you, like, target weak points? Is, if I shoot at something, is that targeting in Ian? You're in the way of my shot. You missed. Oh my god, I got it. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, only two hit points. That's fine. Yeah, Ian. A serious wound is inflicted. Oh, a critical hit in the head for 18 points. How the fuck did I miss? Unbelievable. Ian, don't look. Whoa! I missed 86% twice. This is crazy. Okay. Unbelievable. What in the world, dude? All right, let's go. Let's go then. Let me at him. What? Nice. I actually got a hit. Five hit points. God, Ian is just brutal then. Oh! <gasps> I actually can hit Ian. I just shot him. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I just shot Ian. Oh, I, I. Oops, Ian was hit instead. Ian was hit for six hit points. Holy shit. Bro. This is wild. Yo, give me that. I don't even know what it's good for, but give it. Uh, are you okay? Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> Can you not stand in front of me when I'm shooting? That's so funny. Oops! You shot Ian in the face. Oh, I can loot. We're looting. We're looting bones. Oh, maybe not. Leech animal bones. At least you think all the bones are animals and you see Ian. I even get anything? Okay. Over here. Oh, there's stuff. I put on armor piercing rounds and it did like five damage, dude. That's nuts. Alright, pick it up. That is so crazy, man. Okay. I guess we can thank Ian for being here. More bones. 
bones. Not enough bones to loot. Alright. You ready, Ian? Get ready! Gonna... Oh, never mind. Ian, don't shoot me. Do not shoot me. I'm standing out of the way, so you can't shoot me. Alright, uh, hi! -ya! So I can hit it with 33% from this far, but 86% twice, miss. Nine hit points. Nice. Wild. Five action points. In my turn. Oh, 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 oh! Ian is carrying, dude. What would I do without him? Nice. Be clearing this place out. I see bones. He was hidden. Ian! Ian! Buddy. Ah! <laughs> yeah. I need five action points. Oops. Oh, I've exited combat. I didn't mean to do that. Ian. Get him. Boom. I missed? But it did a whole movement and everything. What the hell? He went, ugh. Uh, yeah. I missed. This is awful. Whoa! Oh my god. <gasps> Level. Level? Leveled up. Ooh, I've got 18 skill points. How does this shit work? Highlight and then select. Nice. All right. I want that. I want that. Um, I need. Let's see. Now that we've gotten a little bit more of what's actually going on in this world, um, repair seems like a nice one. Doctor. Um. Sneak. To live off the land, the knowledge of plants and animals, practical knowledge of the outdoors. It's quite low. Okay. I'm going to do that. I have leveled up. Wonderful. Wonderful. No idea how I'm doing. Um, God damn it. So, oh, oh, shit. It's three in there. I think that's it. Um, how many more bull bulletos have I gotten here? So we're out of 12. Two more shots. Uh, yeah. Reload. Reload! Boom. Five damage. Oh. Nice. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! Ian, what the hell? What are you doing that? Why? What do you have that I don't? Damn it, Ian. Okay. Oh my god, I got the killing blue. See that, Ian? I'm useful. I'm useful. I got the killing blow! I wonder if I can sell the- I just sell these tails for like money or something. Or caps. Bones. You see bones, bones, and more bones. You see my apocalypse. That's right. Alright, Ian, you ready? You got any grenades per, ch per chance? It's gonna get messy. It's right in front of me. Is that like... Uh, yeah. 74. Bah! Three hit points, man. Bah! 
10 hit points. That's good. Yo, let's go. Next. Be cleaning up these rad scorpions, baby. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you just sh oh, you just hit me for 11 points, you asshole. That's my fault for standing here, but it's also your fault for standing there. Oh my god. Douchebag. Alright, nice. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Alright, can you be careful, mate? You're gonna shoot me. Alright, this is, this is a bullet in my back of the head waiting to happen again. Straight for him. He's just ignoring me. I'm not even a threat. Hey, yeah, take that if you're thinking I'm not a threat. Ian, we make such a great team. You being the distraction and me being the one that kills all of them. I'll try and make this quick. I'm just looting the shit. I'm just looting the shit. Give me the fucking things, okay? We done? Victory. So we're done. Yep. Yeah. Cleansed. Those red scorpions are, are no more. Oh, actually, shit. Well, there's one hidden right here. Ah! Ah! He got me. Oh, hang on. Ugh. Put our normal ammo in. Ah, oh, okay, there you go. Ugh. Dude, it is like the same amount of hit points, really. Unbelievable. Nice. Well, I tried my best with the whole armor piercing thing, but it didn't really make much of a difference. You gained 500 experience for stopping the red scorpion. Woo! Guys, we did it. Oh, that's actually really exciting. Oh, hang on. I'm at my maximum weight capacity. That's fine. I don't have many things, do I? Eight, eight red scorpion tails. It'd be nice if I could... Um, I'm trying to figure out... Like, if I click on this guy and do this. That's me, not him. Um, I'm not sure if we can have a look at his inventory and give him stuff. But we've defeated the Rad Scorpion threat. That's cool. Uh, there is a table that we will be leaving behind, but we can now return and uh, report our success. This is actually really cool. I'm actually enjoying this. I didn't know what to expect, so it's just like really nice when you can just like jump into a type of game that I have not played before. I, I have not played a RPG in this sort of combat arrangement or gameplay, I suppose, and it's it's awesome. Oh, this is cool. Oh, nice. They do get added to the map, so I've got Junk Town and the hub and raiders and everything. This is cool, okay. Nice, and it's during the daytime, I can actually see shit now. Ian carried though. Entire town is grateful to you for destroying the rat scorpions. Thank you. What can I do for you? Um, take me to the Red Scorpion Caves. I am unarmed. Please put your weapon away. Why should I? This looks like a dangerous world. Normally I would agree with you. It is very dangerous to travel unarmed, but this is Shady Sands. We are peaceful people. There is no need for weapons here. Oh god. Oh god. Don't enter combat. Put the gun away, man. Jesus. Put the, put the gun away. Okay. Um. Why are we in combat? Stop going in combat. Go away. Keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> All right, let's go speak to uh, the leader. Be like, look, trust me now. Trust. Go and talk to him. Go get 
Ian, you're in the way. That's why I can't get in there. Talk to him. Ah, things are much more settled now. Raslo has been working on a cure for the rad scorpion poison, and with that, we should be able to fight what's left of them. Nice. Um, you don't need to worry anymore. I destroyed the nest. You are truly a hero. Know that the people of Shady Sands are most grateful. I love that it's like, thanks, bye. Certainly. <coughs> what do you wish to know? Uh, other towns. Junk Town lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Certainly. What do you wish to know? What's going on? Ah, things are much more settled now. Raslo has been working on a cure for the rad scorpion poison, and with that, we should be able to fight what's left of them. Okay. Certainly. Bye! Bye, mate. I've popped in just to say... Good job, me. I've pat myself on the back for what I've done here. Will this guy just follow me now forever? I'll just leave and he'll be like, yeah, man, I'm coming with you now. You know your way around a red scorpion. Let's go speak to the doctor. Nice little detour into Shady Sands. I like that this is cool because like you're on your way to Vault 15 and then you're like, oh, there's a thing on the way. And then you go and check it out with natural curiosity. And then you're like, oh. Vault 15 is actually kind of screwed. And if we just continued on our way, we wouldn't have that information. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. Ah, I need healing. Of course you do. Let's see here. Oh, great. Brahmin. That's very serious. It costs 50 bucks. Um, where's my money? I don't think I can see that on hand. I don't have enough money. If you have enough money, I'm sorry, but my work ethic doesn't permit me to heal for free. You know, come back when you have enough money. May I, uh, I helped you. How about a rad scorpion tail instead? Let me see the sack. Yes, I can do something with this. As well as heal you for this great gift. Haha. -ha. This will take a little bit of time. Come, relax in the back while I work with the sack. You might have a slight headache from the ginger juice as well. Come on. Yo, we helped make the antidote because we got all the rad scorpion tails. Nice. Did we give him like all of them? No, we just gave him one. Oh, I've got, uh, I've got weed. Let's go. Bottle containing homebrewed antidote for poison, a milky liquid with floating pieces of rad scorpion flesh. Cool. Um, I have a sample of the rad scorpion poison. Can you do something with it? Let me see the sack. Yes, I can do something with this. Ah, oh, cool. Here, take this as a free sample. It seems to work well against rad scorpion stings, of course, but it shows how much uh, much potential as a general anti venom and poison cure. Is that just like, yeah, okay. One tail for one antidote, and you gotta do it over and over? I wonder how much the tails sell for. Might wanna get like a healthy balance. Got it. Nighttime happens real quick. He's already just like, bruh, I'm going to sleep. Get out of my house. <laughs> Goddamn nightfall. Wonderful. Um, I'm gonna say that that has been a successful first episode of Fallout 1. Uh, this has been fun to make a character, jump into this world and see what it's all about. I'm liking it. I think the atmosphere is really great. The music's awesome. There's a lot of familiarity in like what I know about like the Fallout world, but it's just in a new plane of existence. It's in a new perspective and it's really exciting and I'm liking it a lot. Uh, the dialogue is, is interesting. It's just early days yet, but good first impressions and I'm excited to see like where it's going to go as well. So thank you so much for joining me today. I genuinely hope you've enjoyed this first episode and our introduction to the Fallout series, uh, the original titles. Uh, very fun. If you're new here, uh, please do consider subscribing. It would mean a hell of a lot to me in doing this, uh, you know, for a living and building up my community. I would love to have you here. And uh, I also do uh, seven days of early access via Patreon as well. If you would like to watch episodes faster and it directly supports me. Uh, which means a lot because I love doing this. I love sharing my video game playthroughs and checking out new games on my on my backlog, which is ever growing and, you know, ever changing. But we've uh, we've been able to make some significant progress on the channel in the past few years with my backlog. And I'm really proud of that. So adding Fallout to the list is something I've always wanted to do. And I'm glad we're doing it now. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time.